This is an overview on removing paper jams on the Hewlett Packard Color Laser Jet CP4525. The first place to check when the printer has a paper jam is the main paper tray. You want to start by pulling the paper tray out. It'll stop once it gets out. If you lift it at about a 45 degree angle, the tray will finish coming out. You can see the two spring loaded rails went back into the machine. The main thing you want to check here is that the paper that's in the tray is flush to all four sides of the railing. If the railing is out of place, like that, the paper can slide back and forth and that can produce paper jams. So you want to make sure that these railings, there's a, there's a pinch here that allows it to move and a pinch here that allows it to move. You want to make sure that the paper, all four sides are flush on the railing. You can then reinsert the paper tray. You can then come around to the side of the machine where the transfer kit and the fuser are located. Once you've opened this, you can lift up slightly. You can check in here for paper jams. You can allow this to drop down. If you flick this little blue switch here, this will drop down all the way to get a little bit better uh, access in the here. You can check in this area here for paper jams, and then in this area here where the fusing assembly is. To remove the fusing assembly, you just wanna grab it with both hands and pinch, and then pull straight back. And this is the fusing assembly, and where it's green here, you can lift this latch open and check here for paper jams, reinsert, and then close the side cover of the printer. And then lastly, just make sure that underneath here, there isn't any paper curled up or uh, sheets of ripped paper sitting underneath the output assembly. And those are the areas to check for basic paper jams in the 4525. This has been an overview on clearing paper jams on the Hewlett Packard CP4525. Click below for more videos by IPS.